Good day everyone, my name is Mahulan. In today's video, we are here in Darwin Botanical Garden in Australia. We are going to go inside this beautiful garden and explore what kind of plants and trees this garden is having. And there is an interesting thing about this garden too. A snake is here for more than 16 years and it's protecting this garden. Let's go inside and check out all about this botanical gardens. The entrance board just behind me is the main entrance board for this garden and garden is just 2 kilometers away from Darwin City, Northern Territory, Australia. This botanical garden cover 42 hectares and are noted for their collections of North Australian and other tropical species. It is said that this garden is having more than 400 species of plants from all over the world. Let's go inside this beautiful garden, walk through and see what we can explore and enjoy here. If you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon for future updates. At the entrance of this garden, there is a cafe called Iwas Cafe. People who visit this garden can have refreshments here from this cafe. This is the map of this garden. The map is surrounded by some planting tools and weapons. If you closely observe this map of this garden, I would say it's roughly in the shape of Australia. When you enter this botanical garden, you can see this beautiful water fountain. This fountain runs from 7.30 am to 7 pm on a 30 minute cycle and can't be changed. If we see the history of this garden, it was started in 1886 in a small scale by the European people who settled in Northern Territory, Australia. They planted different kind of plants and trees and maintained this garden well. But unfortunately, in 1974, 89% of this beautiful garden was destroyed due to a monstrous cyclone called Tracy. Later, a person called George Brown, who previously worked in this garden since 1969, came forward, renovated and re-established this garden. He also served as the Lord Mayor for Darwin City from 1992 to 2002. The gardens were renamed as George Brown Botanical Gardens in 2002 to recognize George Brown's contribution and 32 years service to the development of these gardens. Passing this water fountain, there is a bridge which gives us access to the Botanical Gardens Visitor Center and the gardens itself. You can see some people are looking at something and that is the snake I mentioned earlier. Let's go and have a look. A snake which is 15 feet long is just there on that tree. You can see that snake resting there on that branch. The most interesting fact about that snake is that it's just being there without any movements for the past 16 years as that's a snake statue guys. When we come past the bridge, we can see the visitor center and event center. Inside the visitor center, we can gather some information about this garden. Let's go and check that out.
This one explains about climate and geology prevailed in Darwin Northern Territory in the past years. This side you can find some information about the dryland plants which were mostly brought from Africa. There are some information about palm trees on the bottom too. There are also information about the parts of plants, usage of plant parts and animals which inhabit in the ecosystem. You can see all these are numbered and if you want to know about certain plant or plant parts, you can pull out the node with the relevant number and read about the particular plants or animals. See, some ornaments are also made out of the seeds from this garden. One side wall of this visitor center room carries all the historical information about this botanical garden from the start till today. When we come out of the visitor center, you can experience a look like this. There are a lot of big shady trees and a large area of grass lawn under them. Very good place to come with your family and chill out. As you see guys, this is the map of the botanical garden. There are different zones in this garden. Let's go and visit them one by one. First, let's go to the zone called Heritage Lawn, which is right next to the visitor center. There are a lot of pepper planted outside the visitor center and in between the pepper, you can see few pineapple plants too. Some of them are carrying pineapples. This is the place called Heritage Lawn, which got some tropical plants.
Next, we are going to a zone called Africa Madagascar Garden. We can see a lot of plants and trees which are indigenous to Africa and Madagascar and brought over here. Now we are going to visit a very big crocodile structure in this garden and a place called Shed Garden. Let's go there. Next, I'm going to take you all to a zone called Dragon Courtyard, where a big dragon statue is installed. Passing the Dragon Courtyard, we can go through a rainforest loop and visit a small waterfall in this botanical garden. Let's go there.
French nursery is also a zone which have different kind of plants and trees. When you come passing the French nursery zone, you can see the second entrance for this botanical garden. As this botanical garden is very big, they have two entrances for this garden. The next region we are going to visit is called Psychic Garden Dinosaur Trail. In this place, there are a lot of psychic trees and few dinosaur statues installed here and there. These structures will attract kids and it's a good spot for kids. When you go to the place called Echo House and Flower Garden, you can see a lot of flower plants and colorful beautiful plants. This place is also a good spot to bring along your kids and spend some time. As you can see, this is the echo house in this botanical garden guys. The last place we are going to visit in this botanical garden is Snake Bean Community Garden. This is a community garden where people from outside can use a lot and they can plant vegetables and plants. There are a lot of vegetables, fruits and plants here in this community garden. Let's go and have a look at them.
I finished my community garden too and just came along that way. This place is back of the visitor center and this place got a small pond with lotus and lily plants. This botanical garden is also having an outdoor auditorium just behind the visitor center. This place is also cool guys. Alright guys, that's the wrap for this video. I thought it would take only one or two hours to film this garden, but it took more than four hours to cover the whole botanical garden. Anyway, I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon. I will see you all in another vlog. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.